In this video, we're going to be multiplying numbers in different bases. But before we do that, let's multiply 15 by 36 in our own number system. So first of all, I'm going to write this vertically. Okay, so now let's take 5 times 6. 5 times 6 is 30. The 0 is written down. Carry the 3. 1 times 6 is 6, plus 3, that's 9. Need the 0 for the placeholder. So now take 3 times 5, that's 15. The 5 comes down, carry the 1. 1 times 3 is 3, plus 1 is 4. And now we add 0 plus 0 is 0. 9 plus 5, that's 14. So the, bring down the 4, carry the 1. And 1 plus 4 is 5. So 15 times 36 is 540. Now, let's multiply numbers in different bases. So let's start with the 23 base 4 times 1, 2 base 4. First, I'm going to write it vertically. All right, so 3 times 2, that is 6. How many groups of 4 can I take from 6? That's 1 with a remainder of 2. So I'll write the remainder, which is 2, and carry. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. How many groups of 4 can I take from 5? Well, that's 1 with a remainder of 1. So the remainder, and I'll write the 1. Now, 0 is a placeholder. I will now take 1 times 3, that's 3. And 1 times 2 is 2. Okay, So I'm going to add 2 plus 0 is 2. 1 plus 3, that's 4. How many groups of 4 can I take from 4? Well, that's 1 with a remainder of 0. So I'm going to put down the 0, carry, the, carry over. 1 plus 1 plus 2, that is 4. How many groups of 4 can I take from 4? Well, again, that's 1 with a remainder of 0. So I'm going to write the 0, carry the 1, and there's only a 1. Don't forget the base 4. So my answer, when I multiply these two numbers in base 4, I get 1, 0, 0, 2, base 4. All right, now let's do this example multiplying two numbers in base 6. So again, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write it vertically. So 5 times 3, that is 15. How many groups of 6 can I take out of 15? Well, that's a 2 with a remainder of 3. So write the remainder. Carry the 2. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14. How many groups of 6 can I take out of 14? Well, that's 2 with a remainder of 2. So I'll bring it down the remainder, carry the 2. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11. How many groups of 6 can I take out of 11? Well, that's 1 with the remainder of 5. So I'm going to write the 5, then the 1. 0 is a placeholder. So now 2 times 5 is 10. How many groups of 6 can I take out of 10? Well, that's 1 with a remainder of 4. So write the remainder, carry the 1. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. How many groups of 6 can I take out of 9? Well, that's 1 with a remainder of 3. So I'm going to write the remainder, carry the 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. How many groups of 6 can I take out of 7? Well, that's 1 with a remainder of 1. All right, 1 and 1. So now we add. 3 plus 0 is 3. 2 plus 4 is 6. How many groups of 6 can I take out of 6? Well, that's 1 with a remainder of 0. So write 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 5 plus 3, that is 9. How many groups of 6 can I take out of 9? Well, that's 1 with a remainder of 3. Write the remainder, carry. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. And then we just have 1 here. And don't forget the base 6. So my answer in this particular case is 1, 3, 3, 0, 3, base 6. All right, one other example I want to do is I want to multiply two numbers in base 12. So again, I'm going to write it vertically first. Okay, so let's start with 3 times 3, 4. 3 times 4 is 12. Well, how many groups of 12 can I take out of 12? Well, that's 1 with a remainder of 0, right? The remainder, carry the 1. Well, A is 10, so 10 times 4 is 40, plus 1 is 41. 41 divided by 12 is 3 with a remainder of 
5. So I will write the 5 and carry the 3. 6 times 4 is 24 plus 3 is 27. I can take two groups of 12 out with a remainder of 3. So I'll write the 3 first and then the 2. Put the 0 as a placeholder. 3 times 2 is 6. Again, A is 10. 10 times 2 is 20. I can take out one group of 12 from 20 and have a remainder of 8. So the 8 comes down and now carry the 1. 6 times 2 is 12 plus 1 is 13. I can take one group of 12 out of 13 with a remainder of 1. Okay, time to add. 0 plus 0 is 0. 5 plus 6 is 11. 11 is in base 12. Well, because A is 10, that means B is 11. So I'll write B. 3 plus 8 is 11. So again, I'll write another B. 2 plus 1 is 3. And bring down the 1. And don't forget the base 12. So my answer for this is 1, 3, B, B, 0, base 12.